What better way to test out the new Barrow's gloves than getting back to some Slayer? Here with our otherworldly beings and Xanaris, there's 25 Slayer coming in. Got 70 more of these to go, so expect to be here for a little bit longer. But oh, it's so good, you know. The amount that we're hitting now is just incredible. I know that the max hit wasn't increased that much over what we had beforehand, but we do have some attack and strength potions in the group storage, courtesy of our mate there. So, you know, we might be using up some of those as we look to train, and then later on, of course, once we can buy them ourselves, then we'll be certainly visiting that store and raiding it dry. Expect a lot of this. Uh, miss the 49 strength. You know, these levels are coming in so quickly now that I'm sure I'm going to miss a whole bunch. So, apologies in advance for that. Bear with me. I'll do my best to capture them, but no guarantees, of course. 26 slayer. Didn't miss that one, at least. 27 slayer coming in these early slayer levels very very nice with how quickly you get for each uh early task of course even though this task isn't the greatest we're still breezing through it pretty quick another slayer level that's level 28 50 strength coming in and also a milestone level because that reaches us to 1150 total there's 29 slayer end of an era with the completion of our willow birdhouses now that we have the level for our teak birdhouse so let's take this one out and uh, start off with this here and beautiful should be even more expensive I didn't actually see how much we were getting for the willow I think it was about 500 and so my memory let me just double check on this one 560 so not bad at all but I'm sure the teak will again increase that quite significantly and here we should have 35 hunter coming in nothing of interest really there to be honest um, you know the milestone levels come in a lot later as much as I would love to be using a different Slayer Master, we have to keep with Vanika for a little bit longer. We are currently 66 combat, and for our other Slayer Masters, we do need 70 or 75 respectively. That's for Chalda or Kalda and uh, Kona up on Mount Karum. So I wouldn't mind Mount Karum because that will give us some of those Brimstone Keys, which can give us quite a bit of cash. So I guess as soon as we get 70 combat, we move to Xanaris. As soon as we get 75 we move to Mount Karum and then probably again at 85 so as soon as we get those that will be nice unlocks I think we should reach there by the time that we get around 60 strength um, maybe even less so because we'll get some HP levels along the way but for now next task let's see what we get 49 werewolves okay so we'll consider I'll have a look at whether it's best to use the wolfbane or whether we should just use our scimitar in terms of what gives us the best experience or a quick task because we did finish our oh I can't see it anymore but we did finish our uh what was it there it was third task so we still need to finish this one then one more and then we start earning points we did of course get 30 points which is one skip thanks to our quest um, that we did ages ago now but still we're a long way off earning some big points there's 30 slayer can now kill pyrofiends which can be a little bit of an annoying task but still decent experience Decent for medium clues as well, and thanks to the wiki for showing that actually you cannot take them out while they are in their regular form with the wolfbane dagger, so it's interesting that they show that using this icon, you have to kill them as werewolves here, that's what I've opted to do. Um, and I also did consider to kill them in the uh, wilderness dungeon, the god wars dungeon down there, because we could possibly get some ecumenical keys which elk for 60k each, but the only downside was that I didn't really have good items to be used for my bandos all my armor or god um, items there just that we wouldn't be attacked by everyone there are quite a few werewolf spawns down there that i could have gone for and you know, maybe it would have been the right call maybe i should be looking to do that in future but decided against it we obviously do need the money the money would be very helpful to get that dragon battle axe so i can stop using the strength potions that were in our group storage courtesy of our team member. but you know i think we just make do with what we've got here for now and we can look to make those final upgrades later it's still not as big of an upgrade as our barrows gloves were but in any case, let's just keep going here. 100 experience per kill as well, which is going by pretty fast, if I do say so myself. Decent cash drops as well every now and then. You know, every little bit helps when we're in this earlier stage. I'm also picking up these steel full helms and the mithril squirrel shields and all of those things that even elk for a tiny bit of money because I'd much rather try and change those uh, nature runes into GP at any point in time that we can. And shortly thereafter, there's 51 strength as well. 31 Slayer coming in. Doing it now when we've already got some melee stats, obviously the way to go. It's making it a lot more enjoyable, shall we say. And of course, having those levels coming in thick and fast rather than trying this, especially against level 88 opponents when we were, say, level 50 combat with, you know, a rune scimitar. So, well worth it. Great upgrades. Happy to be here. And there we have 32 Slayer coming in, which I believe is going to be our final level um, for this task, other than our 
next strength level of course um, but we'll get another thousand experience hundred times ten of course and then we'll see what our next task is and there's our 52 strength we actually just missed it but there is 54 hit points coming in as our uh, game log here is just absolutely spammed with level ups and this is in fact my last kill before we finish off our werewolf task in which case that'll be our fourth task complete we'll go back to uh, Edgefield to pick up another one from Vanica and we actually got quite a few combat levels out of this one here too so honestly I feel like a couple more slayer uh, a couple more slayer tasks there and then we might be at 17 we could switch across over to our friend in the uh, Xanaris area next task before we start earning points we have 17 vampires okay that should be relatively quick as well so that was our fifth task completed not much experience um, at least it was quick but I forgot how poor the early points are with these earlier Slayer masks it's not until the later ones that you can actually skip tasks frequently so we're going to be doing this quite a bit just basically fighting whatever we get and that's where actually doing some Wilderness Slayer might be the way to go just that we can kill them nice and quick like for example spiders, bears, other little weak animals in there but then again I guess if we get a nasty one like fire giants or something that's going to take forever in any case let's get our sixth task here from Banneker 110 ice warriors well speaking of that's actually a pretty decent um, task there we're probably going to have to bank quite a bit but it should be plenty of experience for us so I'm actually pretty okay with that and I do believe that there are the ones in the uh, wilderness if we want to do those and they can give us quite a few medium clue scrolls which we might want to get so that we can start getting the grind for the ranger boots obviously it's not a big one there's also the melee boots which I would love to have so either of those and just getting some medium clothes out of the way would be very very fun as well I do enjoy them a great deal 33 slayer coming in at the start of our slayer task here very first one killed opted just to kill the ice warriors in the Asgarnia ice dungeon which is nice and afk as they do seem to have a very large wanda aggression range so we should be able to safely just sit here and take them on one by one as they come towards us but as we can see i started using some salmon as i know that these guys take up quite a bit of our food but we should get quite a few seeds and herbs as well 53 strength coming in bringing us up to 67 and a half combat and there we have 34 slayer come in i realized that there was a voice crack at the end of the last clip you know what i'm gonna leave it in uh the reason for it is no i'm not i'm not 16 years old but uh, i just got back from a boys um catch up there with a bit of golf quite a bit of drinks uh and yeah i'm still pretty pretty knackered after that and my throat's still pretty coarse as well i don't know if you can actually pick it up there from the change in tone from earlier clips it's not a new microphone I should be back to normal in a day or two it's just i'm not used to talking so loud so you know i'm just gonna leave it you guys can all laugh at me in the comments i i believe it you know i deserve it we just missed it but we managed to get 35 slayer we can actually now call kill excuse me wall beast that's a 35 slayer requirement not usually a task that you really want to face up against you have to use some sort of spiky helmet i'm actually not too sure if this counts as a spiky helmet i'd be surprised if it didn't but then again, sometimes things that you think would be useful in those situations actually cannot be used. So you know, still another day, another level. And there's 54 strength, 25 left in this task. Rather uneventful task in the end. Um, I will check another one here. What do we get? 63 rock slugs. Rossly snuck up on me a lot faster than I expected, but there's 36 slay. We do have to manually salt each of these and they only give 27 experience per. So it is a pretty awful task. But it's points and there's not too too many of them already down to 54 left to go i'm getting worse and worse at this there was 55 strength coming in just missed that one not far off 37 slayer as well we opted for the hasidious hobgoblins with our next task uh, there are stronger ones elsewhere but i decided just you know one of those tasks that we probably want to go through quickly pick up some nice limp roots and then move on to a possibly better task later on 37 slayer coming in didn't miss this one do we get anything any unlocks for this oh god killer watts oh i absolutely hate that task all right let's hope that we manage to avoid it at vanica i always seem to get them from him on my early iron man last time around so let's see if this group iron man has any chance of avoiding that a pretty big step up from our earlier willow tree bird houses we now get 700 experience rather than 520 and there's 36 hunter coming in now to catch earth implings of course these earlier level implings not really that useful until later on once we can get eclectic and upwards for medium clues and for all those little goodies that they drop as well alongside it um yeah we're just doing our runs every now and then and actually we also as you can see in the bottom left hand corner here our new task is 47 green dragons so while that's not necessarily hugely important from the bone standpoint thanks to the fact that we already have all of our protection prayers 
we of course still want to be getting some extra prayer experience so that we can gain some extra goodies in the form of our um you know piety chivalry later on down the track way down here and eventually maybe Rigor and Augury, we'll see and beyond that as well the hides will be quite nice to take so that we can just alk them later on after we have the crafting level to make them into some form of green hide armor there so we'll see how we go there's 43 ranch coming in our green dragons here we managed to pick up a looting bag nice and early so we'll be using this as we see we've got 45 more green dragons to go should be getting a slayer level here at the end of this one too uh, yeah get some nice range level we might be looking to maybe doing some AFKing at some sand crabs just to get some early ranged levels with our bone crossbow until we can get up to near our rune crossbow that'll be quite nice maybe go and kill our crazy archaeologist for one of those we'll see 38 slayer coming in now kill Vyas. all right another chance for a hard clue so we've got one that requires us to speak to pirate pete this one is achievable so we'll keep this one and see if we can complete the whole thing i don't have high hopes but it would be amazing to complete an early hard clue that's for sure 44 range coming in almost finished our first well technically our first inventory of green dragons 29 left to go You'll note that we've made a bit of a gear change, but there was 56 strength coming in. I always make sure to remind myself to keep an eye on it, make sure that you're paying attention to this bar up top. And then I do that and I watch it like a hawk as it goes from 3000 or 2000 to 1000. And then once it gets to 200 away, then I seem to get sidetracked and always miss it anyway there. But at least we managed to get that level. We changed it up a little bit as I was just taking far too long with our range training. And this is a lot, lot quicker. So we'll just get that range up a little bit first with our AFKing and that's going to allow us to get across the line a lot quicker when we do come to ranging tasks. So I really do want to be ranging some more tasks, especially some, um, you know, Curesque and Turoth and all those kind of things later on with the broad bolts. But for right now, melee is king. We do want to get into the Warriors Guild. We want to get access to our Dragon Defender, at which point we'll probably focus on range a little bit more. And in between, you know, we can just set ourselves up to AFK at Rock Crabs anyway, because, you know, best of both worlds that way. There we have 39 Slayer coming in, we can now kill Monolisks, no idea what the hell they are, little hunched over penguin grunts from Halo looking things with little spiny backs. Um, we've only had one PK run so, by so far, you know, we're just blending them the bots at the moment, like this fellow over here. Um, he stole one set of my D hides and my bones because I wasn't quick enough, that's my own fault though. Last one of the task, and I'm seriously considering going for a bit of Wilderness Slayer just for some early points, at least until we get to 70 combat we're currently 68.7 it's a little bit skewed there because of the um, text behind it i think that's what we might do and if we get a real shitty task then i don't know we might have enough points to skip it we'll see how many we have at the end of this kill i guess and then kind of decide it from there i don't know it's a tricky one it's a tricky one we've killed him 70 points so we do have two skips which could be useful we obviously don't want to be wasting our points for no good reason so i think we're going to give it a go and then we'll decide from there and I actually just realized that that was our 10th task with Vanicus. So we actually received 20 points, which is the only reason why we managed to get up to 70 points available. If we just quickly check here, the rewards, I would love the Bigger Baddest Slayer, which I believe is one of these options down here. 150 points for that. We would also love to be able to make Slayer Rings, but that'll be a little bit later on down the track. Um, Will these Slayer is absolutely fantastic. Jellies, Dust Devils, Neck Reels, and Abyssal. Uh, that's Cresselia. Okay, that's already extended for free, so I haven't done that at all. Um, beyond that, you know, I would love, love, love to get a rune pouch. That would be very, very handy. But beyond that, let's just see what we get. Stilia, what do you have for me? Yes, only kills inside. You don't check combat tasks. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I must get on the wilderness. That's absolutely fine. We would love to get some of the key drops from you as well. 76 Dark Warriors. Honestly, pretty happy with that. We should be absolutely fine to take care of them. Um, there are some weaker variants and I think we'll just focus on that whenever we get the opportunity that is how we will deal with them like example if we get bears if we get spiders skeletons anything like that we just go for the weakest ones that we can kill so let's start off here nice quick dark warrior task completed at the top level or the second story depending on whether you are from the US or UK I suppose it kind of differs doesn't it um, and that allows us to finish off our first wilderness task we need four more completed before we start receiving slayer points so Again, we have to hope for four more good tasks, unless we skip one or two along the way, but we have to be pretty, pretty careful with our skips for sure, as these uh, Dark Warriors, that's why we went down the bottom floor, as these guys, level 145, absolutely smack your silly. We've got a couple of these as well, and this one actually, the Slayer's Enchantment, I don't actually know if that's that useful, might just ulk it, but you know, other than that, we didn't really get much in the way of drops, since we were killing such low levels, but 
Let's see, number two. 106 lesser demons is going to be a little bit of a tricky one there. I'm wondering whether we use magic, whether we try and melee. We shall see, we shall see. So I've decided the best way to tackle them is probably going to be in the Slayer's Cave with Firebolt. We're going to try it out using our Steel Gauntlets changed into our Chaos Gauntlets. We're going to talk to Jonathan here about that any second now. We'll just be able to skip through these dialogue options and there we go. We have the Chaos Gauntlets. Gives us some melee strength which is very very unusual but anyway we'll wear those. And now our Firebolt spells are... Firebolt Bolt spells... Oh my god that's so hard to say do an extra I believe three damage maximum so they're almost as strong as our fire blast now we're going into the wilderness it's going to be a little bit risky thankfully we don't lose too much on death um thankfully we actually didn't need to spend any money either to change them it's only when we change them from an existing pair to a different one we will lose our Zerushian hat if we die but thankfully we do have the fabric to make another one if need be and everything else like a staff of air and amulet of magic easy enough to obtain again the damage book really not that much of a deal big deal right there is the Ardo and cloak so i think just going in is absolutely fine we've got some decent food the only thing that we would really be upset about losing would be our runes there so we're not going to take too too many in and unfortunately we don't have a teleport for outside of level or above level 20 wilderness so we can only do it level 20 or below 40 slayer coming in um this is actually working out not too bad it's not going by super super fast but getting some decent items if i check in our looting bag here we open that bad boy up check it this way and we can see that we've got a few black um full hounds as well as a whole bunch of other items that um total up to about 25k including a chess piece and uh you know just some other bits and pieces here so some teleports as well that might come into play later on but honestly it's all right and i think what we might do as well we've only got about two or three hundred more chaos runes left in our bank so once we run out of these ones we might get the rest of them and then after that we'll switch across and actually start using our ivan's blast because what is the Ivan's Blast if not for this very situation, right? Getting some early Slayer levels, getting some nice kills, getting some nice credit back as well. And then um, we'll see if that's enough to finish off the task. Great. If not, then we might have to go and buy some runes. But I think I will keep doing this for the whole task. As I mentioned, we are getting decent Slayer experience out of this. We'll definitely get another level and maybe then one additional after that as well. As you can see, we've upgraded the gear to our Ivan's Blast, taking about 500 casts. If we die, we don't lose our entire stack of runes. It's obviously quite risky, but it's also pretty great uh, experience, both for magic, for hit points, and for Slayer. But this level's a little bit unexpected, but here's our Vile Ashes scattered, and there we go. 45 prayer, Mystic Might, honestly not that important, but any prayer experience that we're getting is better than no prayer experience, that's for sure. So nice to have it swinging by anyway. The speed of the task has certainly sped up since I took across my Ivan's Blast. Such a good idea, increasing our max hit from 15 up to about 25. We're also getting some nice um, Blighted Manta Rays and other goodies there that can only be used in the wilderness, but still quite useful. 61 magic coming in as well. Teleport to Troll Helm, useful for once we start our, uh, our Bandos grind, of course. Not going to be for a wee while yet, that's for sure. Our first Laren's Key. Now that could be absolutely huge. It could be multiple rune items. It could be a whole bunch of gold ore for a bunch of smithing experience. We're certainly going to be opening that up at the end of this uh, this run here. 55 less to go, left to go, excuse me. There's 41 Slayer coming in. We've actually also picked up a Blighted Super Restore. A nice little bit of prayer regeneration if we manage to get some in the wilderness. 56 hit points coming in too. As you can see in the chat box there, we've been very lucky, very blessed this last uh, 20, 30 kills there. Rune Medhelm, Rune Medhelm, honestly, I think we got some Eddy pieces as well. Chess piece, some nice alchemists in the form of those as well. Then if you look at the most recent one, Magic Shortbow Scroll, which I think is also quite a rare one. So it's not quite the Rune Pouch, but with about 85k, that's pretty damn good. I think what that does is maybe make it a little bit stronger in terms of ranged accuracy. But also reduces the cost of the uh, short bow special attack from about 55 down to 50, so you can use it twice in quick succession. Now, obviously, you don't have a magic short bow, nor do we have the level to use it, but still quite useful. Does it elk for anything? Elk for 3k. Now, we'll probably keep it in that case. It will be useful a little bit later on. The final slay level for this task there is level 42. It gives us fever spiders. Honestly, probably not a task that we want to be dealing with, but. You know it is what it is we've got 10 more to take out we should get another magic level in just a little bit and then we can start with our third task it's obviously taken a very long time but uh we spent about 50k on fire runes but we made that back i believe with all of the little um you know black full helm drops mithril hatchets 
uh, rune medhelms, adamant pieces, you know, so I'm not complaining too much about it. And um, all of these little random entangle stacks and other bits and pieces, nothing fantastic out of there, but you know, it is what it is. We make do. And um, I am happy that I decided to end up doing this task. And honestly, I didn't use as anywhere near as many uh, runes as I expected. I did use quite a few chaos, but that's my mistake. Now I know to just always use death runes. We've got about uh, 1600 charges remaining, so we've used up quite a few charges, but still, we've got about another thousand or so death runes in the bank. So if we get another task like this, we still can take it out. My concern is that if we have to face any of these type enemies, like our black demons across the way, that would be quite tricky to deal with, but uh, hopefully we don't get too many assigned if that's the case anyway. But only a few more to go. I'll see you in a little bit, unless we get a, some sort of amazing drop beforehand, of course. And there's 62 magic coming in. Now cast a wind wave. Honestly, that's not really that important, but our first wind, or excuse me, our first wave spell. So I guess that's a bit of a benefit. I can't really complain too much. Look at all this delicious food that we're getting as well. Absolutely love it. Time for our third task. Let's see if we get lucky this time. 128 ice warriors. Holy shit. Okay, so that's that's a lot. That is a lot. I think we are going to have to melee them. I think that's our only option. Um, we're just going to have to go in with our, you know, as much as we can afford to lose, basically. And I'm sure we're going to get killed a couple of times out here. A decent amount of experience. We'll take out some potions, take out our best food that we can. And then just kind of AFK in the middle of them, I think. That's probably going to be the way to go. Without having a can, it's going to be a little bit painful, but that's okay. Let's see how we fare. And now, now we're going to run it up to the uh, to the high level chest for our first Laren's Key. So, let's see how we go with that one. Alright, well here we go. First ever Laren's Key opening. What do we get? Absolute garbage. Now, can we actually ulk these? That's the question. Uh, we can high output for about 30k, that might be the way that we go, but honestly probably one of the worst ones that we possibly could get. We could get multiple rune legs, like three rune legs, four rune helmets, you know, two rune chest plates, even just coal, even gold ore, anything would have been good, any kind of resource. This is not what we want, this is far too late game and it's not really going to be that useful, so yeah, that sucks. While here, it makes sense to take out Collodion's form so that we can get our Major Arena 1 cape. We'll go for our later cape later on. I don't think it really matters too much. Well, that was easier than I expected. Uh, only used up 40 runes in total from our Ivan's Blast. Nice and easy. What one do we go for? I feel like because we currently have the Salad Robes in the form of uh, the Zerishian armor, I feel like Guthix is going to look the best for us here. So if we wear this nice green cape, matches our outfit. I wouldn't usually go for it. But, oh god, it still looks horrible, doesn't it? Anyway, we've made our decision. We'll take a couple of those. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.